Alrighty, welcome back to another franchise mode in NHL 21. We just finished our Maple Leaf series. I won't spoil the ending, but it's only fitting that we move on to play their arch nemesis, their biggest rival, the Boston Bruins. So I went ahead off camera and I edited some of the lines and I found a coach, but sadly uh, there was no coach of a high enough overall that fit the top players of this team. So I'm sticking with the coach he gave me. Uh, he has a team fit of 66%, but you can see Marshawn Pasternak aren't ideal for this coach. Um, so that's unfortunate, but he's young coach. And then I went ahead and I signed this guy named Belay and Jonas, and hopefully they can grow quickly into a, uh, you know, like a, a coach that could play as a head coach with strong assistants and associates. So hopefully by next year, the year after, we'll have a really good coach for this team that can get Marshawn Pasternak, the plus three or plus five uh, that we want. Um, so looking at the lines, uh, we got a plus one on the first line, which is fine. Uh, we got a plus five on the second, which is really good. Uh, a plus one on the third and a uh, zero on the fourth, which is fine. And then the first pairing defensively, we got Lozon and McAvoy, which is not good enough in my opinion. And then we got Grizzly and Carlo, also not good enough. And then a minus three here, which is really bad. I didn't edit the power plays yet because uh, I was looking ahead and I figured maybe we could make some trades to improve this team. So the first trade I want to make is in Vancouver. Um, they have a guy named Alex Edler. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's had a long career, good player uh, on the block. And so to make this work, I'm going to throw in Matt Grizzly. I'm going to throw in... One of our rookies, no one that great, Mantikivi, never heard of him in real life, so um, yeah, it's kind of a throwaway for us, I guess. And then a second and a third, this should make it go through pretty easily, so we're going to ask for a fourth back, uh, I can maybe even ask for more, a fourth and a fifth maybe even. Yeah, easy, easy money, that's a good trade right there. Uh, we're going to do best lines for now because we're not done yet. So uh, I was also looking at another team. You know, Our biggest weakness by far is defense. So we're going to go to Arizona. Man, I went the long way around there. Uh, and they have a guy named Alex Goligoski. He's on the block as well. We're going to have to ask them to retain some salary, sadly, but that's okay. We're going to give up John Moore. We're going to have to retain a little bit of salary. We're going to give up John Moore here. And... A fourth this should go through but they're retaining salary so they're not happy about it should go through if I reduce it enough for them to want to take the deal they can't even retain 20 50k Wow oh well, it doesn't even go through yet either okay so let's throw in a fifth and a sixth Let's see if they can retain some salary now for us. Nope. Nope. Holy cow, they're stingy. I mean, it is Arizona, I guess. Eh? <laughs> uh, no, wow. <laughs> Alright, that went through. Uh, go to roster moves. Best lines for now. So that's another trade that we wanted to get done. And then we looked ahead as well to continue improving the defense because that's our biggest flaw. Uh, we're going to have to ask them to retain some salary. Oh, no, it wasn't Keith Yandel. What am I doing? What am I doing? I looked at Keith Yandel, but that salary was awful. Uh, Columbus, they had another guy for us here. Del Zotto. And this was a simple trade. Pretty easy to get through. F even just a fifth should do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, like gangbusters, they say. Well, then, have fun. Um, <laughs> and then um, I looked at Pittsburgh for a trade for Brian Rust, but he's not a center. So that's really not ideal for us. I'm going to just double check that there's no one else available. And as I check, there's a guy named Danton Heinen available. We're giving up Craig Smith um, just because he doesn't fit the team very well. Let's see if they accept it. It's close, though. Um, so just easy fix, just throwing a 7th, that should put it through. No? Wow, they want both the things, but I guess they don't want to give up Heinen, so... There we go, easy trade. Easy trade. Let's call up Heinen now. 
He should be called up, actually. Yeah, Den Heinen. I bring him back to Boston. Bring him back to Boston. It's where he wants to be, right? Um, all right, this should be an easy fix. There we go. Do that, do that. Um, put Den Heinen on that line. There we go. Man, the team's already looking better. I mean, the forward, forward core is kind of similar to what it was already, if we're being honest with ourselves here. But defensively, like, yeah, look at that. That's a nice plus three. Brandon Carlo here with Alex Goligoski is not ideal. Um, I mean, plus three on each line. That's not bad. Kevin Miller. Still fits. Delzato fits the top pairing. They said, I hate when they do that. Like, I, I scout ahead. It says third pairing. I'm like, all right, he fits the third pairing. I'm going to get him. I get him. Oh, by the way, he fits the first pairing. Okay. Okay, EA Sports. All right, that's fine. Let's see if Lozon gets a plus. Doesn't. All right, we're going to keep it. We're going to stick with Delzato then. Um looking good I kind of want to keep it like that if I'm being honest we can upgrade Goligoski at the uh, at the trade deadline or near the trade deadline we're gonna send down Lozon we're gonna send down Lozon here let him play in the minors let him have a fun year let him have a fun year let him tear this league apart here uh, force back at Carlson wow he fits that second line with Frederick I don't want Solaric on that line. I want a playmaker. Do we have one? We don't. Not a singular, singular playmaker? Aslan? I mean, look, if he gets it a plus five, I'm going to put him there. He gets it a plus three. Okay, no. No, I don't want them in. I want Steen in. Okay, Lauko, where do you fit? Fit up there. Lantosi, doesn't matter. Cameron Hughes, fourth line. Steen, third line. Uh, Kopanen, wherever. Coleman, wherever. That's fine. Bjork, Stadnika. There we go. Sanishin. That's fine by me, right? It's fine. Connor Clifton. Uh, Camfer. Offensive? No, defensive. Clifton is two way. Where do you fit? Second pair. DJ. Second pair. Borrell. doesn't fit this team. Probably gonna move on. Alright, let's do that. And then goaltending, that's fine. Okay, we can move on from Connor Clifton at the tr near the trade deadline. So there we go. We made our line changes. Um, oh, jeez, I didn't edit the power play. What am I doing? What am I doing? We can't have Bergeron up there. He doesn't fit. Or he fits, it's just he's a two way forward. It doesn't work. Goligoski doesn't fit either. Jeez, how much closer do you need to be to a plus five, eh? Still a plus three, that's fine by me. Uh, we're gonna take Heinen off of here. Kasha, is he not in? Kasha's not in. Let's get Kasha in here. Yes, there we go. Alright, I 
want. Uh, that's fine. Does he have a good shot? He does. I want cash on that side. Four man power play. Um. That fixes it. All right, let's do that. And then DeBrusque with Krejci. Golagoski does not fit, man. Do Kasha. Man, Golagoski is not good for this team. Uh, Berge Yo, why is Bergeron not taking the faceoffs there? What the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? McAvoy. Okay, Miller doesn't. Miller fits. Come on, Delzato. There we go. Wagner doesn't fit. Useless. Useless. The only reason why we have you on this team is for the penalty kill. Is Heinen in yet? No, let's put Heinen in. He's definitely going to fit. No way. No way. Another Heinen, though. Oops. Okay, that's easy. Delzato should fit. There we go. Um, goalies, it's fine. Alrighty, this team is finally ready to sim some games. We should be able to coast to the playoffs pretty easily. I'm going to get to the, uh, the near deadline there and see what we can do. See what we can do. Because Delzato needs an upgrade. Definitely needs an upgrade. 101, 201. 301, 3 one one. All right, yeah, i take these guys off the block. I don't want to trade our rookies. We need players who can who can grow and step in once our guys get old. You gotta always be able to train new new players to take the place of old players. You know, you can't just be an old team all the time. It doesn't work. Six four and one, not a bad start. Oh, that's not good though. That's some bad losses in a row. Those are some bad losses, man. Arizona destroyed us 7-2. to two. Oh, my God. This team, man. I don't know what it is about Boston in this game. They don't sim well ever. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I just upgraded the defense so much, and even then we're playing like shit. Oh, my gosh. That's awful. There we go. Those are some wins. Those are some wins. Put us back in a wild card position. Bad loss. Got to bounce back. There we go. Big win. Big win. Big win. There we go. These are some big wins here. These are some big wins here. Those are big wins there. That's the difference between a playoff team and a non-playoff team. Those are some big wins there. How's the first line doing? They're not even doing well. Like they, they're, they're scoring, but they can't keep the puck out. That third line is awful. Maybe I switch Kasha with DeBrusque. I mean, if it ain't broke, right? That second line's doing so well. If we upgrade... Because Danton Heinen doesn't fit the PK anyway, right? Exactly. Okay, so if we upgrade Danton Heinen... That could potentially fix that third line. Chris Widener didn't fit the PK either. So if we upgrade him. So upgrade. Upgrade Heinen. Upgrade Wagner, who's a fourth line winger. And. Okay, that's what the defense is doing. They're doing fine. They're doing bad. They're doing fine. So we're going to upgrade Goligowski. Goligowski. Okay, we got to upgrade Goligoski. Let's see what's available to us, right? <clears throat> I might enter the deadline. I almost, I almost never go into the deadline, but I'm gonna go into the deadline. We're gonna be a buyer, all-out buyer. Management wants us to win. Uh, we're expected to win, so let's go and win, right? Uh, Dustin Bufflin's on a nothing contract in Chicago. I feel like he signs there every time. Defensive pairing one, all penalty killing lines. That's a nice contract too. We'll give you a Goligoski here. 
just for now what what's wrong why are they retaining so much i don't know why that happens i don't need them to retain money he has, he's on a nothing contract okay we'll get them Goligoski. they want back an iron how does he fit he's so good kiddo he's well actually we don't we, no he doesn't fit in the future though but he's balanced balance we're gonna keep him for now Jeremy Lozon though doesn't fit. Pinch balance, that's pretty good. We're gonna get rid of Goligoski. We're gonna throw in our first. That'd make it work. Fourth, third, third. This should go through. Hell yeah. All right, we got Dustin Bufflin. We just upgraded Goligoski. If we can find an offensive defenseman, I know, I know, Keith Yandel's there, but he's got a horrible contract. Uh, uh, no, we don't need a, we need a playmaker or a two-way forward for the third line. Um, ooh, OFD, bad contract. Um, playmaker, Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl to Boston. Forward line two. That's close to the third line. But the people who fit on the second line also kind of fit on the third line. So we can make that work. Sadnika's growing. I like that. I like that a lot. What's Vakanainen doing down there? Plus 24. We're keeping him. Carlo's a minus eight. That's fine. He's going to fix that this year. Frederick's not doing great down in the minors. But that's okay. Sanishin, how you doing? Doing all right. For his backup, 17 goals, 17 assists. He's doing all right. We're running out of draft picks here, though. That's our biggest issue. Um, but by getting this player, we're getting rid of Heinen, correct? They don't want Heinen. He's young, though, so I'm surprised they don't. And we can throw in. Holy cow. Okay, we can throw in Chicago's third. It's close. We'll throw in a fourth. And a sixth. That should go through. Well then. <laughs> I overkilled it, but that's fine. Tory Krug? I don't want to bring him back. I don't want to bring him back. No, thank you. Um, I mean, I'd be stupid not to look at it, right? I'd be stupid not to look at it. First pairing. Mm, they don't fit the power play though. I want someone who fits our power play. Elvis Merzlikland. Elvis is on the block, eh? Downgrading Rask would save us money, but I don't think it's very worth it for us. I want to upgrade that fourth line. Derek Stepan, what do you? What kind of contract are you on right now? One year left. Forward line three. Fits the penalty kill. That's ideal. We want to give up Austin Wagner here. They want him, so that's helpful. The, they should want picks, yeah. We'll give up our second next year. They can retain just a little bit of salary. Well, actually, they don't need to retain salary. Just a touch? Alright, I should be able to get the 7th then. I should be able to get the 7th. Hell yeah. Alright, that fixes our 4th line. We upgraded Wagner, we upgraded Heinen, we upgraded Goligoski, so we're technically we could be done. Let's just see if there's an offensive defense we can get for the power play. Someone cheap who can play on lower pairings. Move Del Zotto for them. Brad Hunt. Oh. Okay, we got to Brad Hunt. Hmm. Anyone here for us? Romanov? No. I've had him in another series already. Yannick Weber, offensive defenseman. He's on a cheap contract. Defensive pairing three. 
What the hell? That's a glitch and a half. Have I ever seen one? Um, who are we giving up here? Who are we giving up here? We got these guys under contract. That's a good defensive lineup right there. Kevin Miller, where would he be playing? Because we got Carlo on the second pair with most likely Edler or McAvoy. And then we got Bufflin, who fits the first pairing with Edler. And then Kevin Miller on the third pair, right? Five. Then we got Del Zotto, also fits the third pair. But we got a defensive defenseman. So we'll move on from Del Zotto. That should go through. They're nothing for nothing. No. Throw in a seventh that they want. Yeah, that goes through. Call for the resignation. I don't know what they're smoking over there in Pittsburgh, but sure. They'll call for his resignation if he doesn't accept a third pairing uh, a third pairing swap, basically. I mean, he's got medium top four potential. We'll take him. Let's edit our lines real quick. Uh, I think this team's poised for a, a nice little run here. Second line, perfect fit. Krejci... He fits the third line better than Krejci, though, right? Yeah. So we'll leave it like that. We'll go here. There we go. If only you were a better fit for that third line, man. Okay, we got an upgrade here. Interesting. No, I care more about Nick Richie than Derek Stepan. Um... Okay, Lindholm, and yeah, okay. What about face-offs? You don't have good face-offs? Wow, okay. Let's do that. Bufflin, Edler, McAvoy, Miller, Carlo, Weber. Another Carlo up there. And then Rask, Halak, yeah, yeah, yeah. Special teams. Let's see, does he fit? Does he fit the special teams? He does. Okay, here we go. We just need a power forward up there. Oh, yeah, and switch Bergeron with someone. Krejci. Stall. Wait, why isn't this working? Pasternak. Dang it! Dang it, he doesn't... Pasternak doesn't fit? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to be our second pairing. We're going to go with overall in the first one. So, okay, we got Weber, Richie, Marsh. We got Marsha. I'd rather Marsha in front of the net, though. Oh, he's got a good shot, actually. Pasternak, okay. With Bergeron. He's got the best face-offs in this game. Krejci. Stepon. I don't want Stepon on there, though. Cash is already in. We need, okay, we need DeBrusque. Where's DeBrusque? There we go. DeBrusque fits. Bufflin or McAvoy? I think I'd rather McAvoy. Mm -hmm. Or then again, Bufflin has a good shot, right? Yeah, so we'll set him up with Krejci. DeBrusque, Pasternak, Bergeron. There we go. This is a team. Alright, four-man power play. Bergeron. Okay, that almost works really well. Let's see if having Weber there fixes it. Okay, but I'd rather just have... I don't care about the plus one, because I'd rather just have buy Bufflin there. Is it 92, 92, 92, 78? Like, that wouldn't work. I'd rather 87 with a 90, 91, 91, 91. Alright, like, that's good. That's good for me. Penalty kill, step on, fits, Corrali fits. This McAvoy doesn't fit. So we'll do that. Actually, we'll do this. And then, instead of McAvoy, we'll put Carlo? Carlo fits, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this team is stacked. All right, peak, at least on the penalty kill, it's stacked. Um, yeah, we'll 
do that, do that, do that. And then Corali with Rendu Carlo and Miller. Whoops. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, this team's stacked. Oh my gosh, edits the lines every time. I didn't make an AHL level trade. Honka's not there. I know I claimed him. I know I claimed him, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay, I think I'm blind then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's broken. And then Zaboral with Clifton. Not other, rather Lozon. And then Clifton with Camphor. Hmm. Let's go for this guy. Oh, he's a minus 28. Well, let's see if Camper can't carry him, right? Alright. Anders Bjork on that first line with Stanika and Solaric. Fine. Frederick, power forward. We're going to switch to Stanika. Prefers back at Carlson. And then carry. Sure. Bleed. We want him out of here. We want bleed out of here. Woods? No. Uh, okay, who's a good prospect? Okay, Felipe could make it. I want Steen in, and I want Felipe in, and I want Hughes in. I'm taking a kick out of here. Felipe. Where does he fit? Third line? Kuhlman? Third line, but fourth line as well. We're going to do this. Who has the best face-offs? Oh, it's actually him. There we go. That's a good team. And then defensively, they're good too. Goal-tending-wise, it's iffy. Oh, Zach Sinisha needs to be in the lineup. Um, who do I not care about? Coolman. Get Zach Sanishin in here. There we go, that works. And then switch Solaric with Steen. Beautiful. That's awesome. Alright. Alrighty, this team is poised for a cup run right here, right now. Let's go. Let's see if we can make the playoffs first, though. Let's just try to make the playoffs. Let's just focus on making the playoffs. I upgraded, I think, every facet of this team except for goaltending. So if we start losing more than we win, I don't even understand this game. I don't understand this game. There we go. Okay, two wins, three wins, four wins. There we go. They just need to gel. They just need to learn how to gel together. There we go. That's good. 99 points. That's a hot, that's a hot year for me. That's a good year for me. I'm happy with that. The Bruins always sim bad in this game, so I'm just happy we uh, we made the playoffs. Man, look at this team, though. You'd think they would have done better, but... Like, how did Saul do with us? Plus two, 12 points, not bad. Uh, who else did we acquire? Step on, how did you do? Six points, plus four. Not bad, Bufflin. 13 points plus 12. That's what I want. That's what I want. I think they improved a little bit too. Hey, he's already learning. He's learning from Bufflin. Weber, how'd you do with us? Three points plus six. We'll take it. We'll take it. And then Rask, 905. Oof, our goaltending sucks. I should have upgraded that. I should have changed our goaltending. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh... I'll look at the stats real quick, but I think that's enough for today. We'll uh, we'll do the playoffs next week. Uh, no, not next. Jeez, oh, not next week. We're gonna do the playoffs tomorrow, or even tonight. We'll see how we do, and I'll uh, I'll probably upload it within the next day or two. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Man, this is a team, eh? This is a team.